Hey guys, and welcome back to Bristol Daily Homes. Ryan here again. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. I know we have a huge snowstorm coming our way late this evening, um, but needless to say, we're still here, going to provide you the homes each and every day that they come on the market. Um, so many of you may or may not know that in, in, in addition to helping people buy and sell real estate in, um, in the Northern Virginia, Bristow, Haymarket, Gainesville area, I also actively buy and flip real estate. Um, and I get a lot of questions from people in regards to how am I able to negotiate um, you know, a much better deal on a property. Um, and, you know, a lot of it has to do with it. There is a fine art in, in buying and flipping properties. Um, one of the key components is, is, you know, paying attention to the property. You obviously aren't going to buy and flip a turnkey property. That's going to sell for retail value. So if you think that you're going to get a deal, then you need to be paying attention to homes that need some work. Now, the more work that needs to be done on a property, the more likely that you are going to be able to negotiate a property. Um, but a lot of it also has to do with square footage. I mean, square footage is the most important part when, uh, to me when selling a home because, you know, you can't really change the space that's in the home, but you can change, you know, what's in there. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, for people that are willing to consider uh, renovation potential projects are going to get a, a much bigger discount. What I'm going to do over the next couple of days is I'm going to put together a, a video of maybe the three or four or five best tips on how you can negotiate um, the best deal on a property or on a home that you're looking to buy. Um, and I'll give you the key things that you need to pay attention to in order to be able to negotiate that price down and get the very best deal possible. Uh, like I said, these are just things, tips uh, that I've picked up over the years on things that I'm always paying attention to when I walk through a house uh, to, to maybe tip me off as to whether somebody would be willing to negotiate uh, a much lower price. At the end of the day, everybody wants a great deal. Um, and, you know, I want a guy, I want to keep adding value for you guys and, and, and you know, show you guys the tips and tactics that I'm actively using right now uh, to negotiate the very best deals um, uh, possible. So if you're interested, all you have to do is respond to this email and say that I, you know, you'd like to receive the free video once it's complete. Um, just, just type, I would like to receive the free video and the response back to the email, and we'll be sure to get that out to you in the next couple days. Now into today's properties, 9690 Betterstone Place is located in the villages at Saybrook Subdivision. It's a townhome, interior unit, three bedrooms, two full baths, two half baths, standard sale at 275000 uh, It's 1,875 square feet total with 1,400 on the, on the main levels. Um, we've got a one-car garage, and also, as you can see, there's the paved driveway there where many people end up just parking in the driveway and using their garage for storage. Um, we'll go through some of the pictures here. So it was built in 1995. There's the front entryway. Pretty standard kitchen, um, nothing that's going to blow you away. Pretty builder grade with black appliances. They may have been swapped out at some point. There's the kitchen. There's not an extension. Fireplace on the, on the lower level where you walk in. Pretty neutral um, earth tones throughout this house, fenced in backyard. I would say that this house is pretty much spot on price wise. Um, at that square footage, it's you know I think it's at the perfect price point. It is a little bit older than some of the other homes that are in Bristow, uh, in Braemar, in Victory Lakes. Uh, I think this price is pretty much spot on, um, and it's not a bad deal for somebody looking to live in this village at Saybrook subdivision. 10213 Inchberry Court. This is located um, over in the Braemar subdivision as well. Sorry, that's my phone going off. Uh, it's a potential short sale at four hundred and sixty thousand. Um, it's a detached colonial, four bedrooms, four and a half baths. It's on almost a quarter acre lot. It's uh, a big house. We have almost uh, forty six hundred of total square feet here. Two car garage. Um, we'll go through some of the pictures. Downside is there's no deck or patio off the back, but that's obviously something that you can add later on. It is a potential short sale, so remember the bank has to agree to sell it at this price. Um, I think that this is a good price point for this home for the square footage that you're getting. Um, hardwood floors, as you can see when you come in, and going up the stairs, hardwood as well. Here is the formal living room. It's an interesting choice of furniture, and I always tell people when you're going to sell your house, you want to neutralize everything. Now, I'm, I'm not, you know, going to say that this is somebody else's taste, and I'm all for everybody having what they what they like in their home. However, when you're trying to sell it, you need to neutralize things, and having this uh, bright fuchsia coloring furniture, um, to me, is more of a deterrent than anything else. I'd rather you strip out all the furniture in that room um, versus having that in there. And obviously, it's popping even more because it's the white walls and white carpet. 
just something to take note of, especially if you're a seller out there in Pristo. Um, you know, it's nothing personal. Just remember that you want to neutralize your home as much as possible, eliminate anything that um, could potentially be uh, a detractor from your house, and uh, ultimately your goal is to get top dollar. Just a little side sidebar there. Um, here's the rest of the home, carpet throughout, here's the kitchen, here's the family room with vaulted ceilings, staircase, tray ceiling in the master bedroom, separate tub and shower in the master, here's the basement area, and another room that has red carpet, kind of random. Uh, and in an office area down there as well with the full bath. Um, all in all, it's a, a lot of space that you're getting here, 4,600 square feet, so it's almost what, about $100 a square foot total, um, which would definitely put it on my radar uh, for a home to take a look at, especially if you can get it at this price point if the bank would agree uh, to sell it at that. 12016 Spring Beauty Drive, or Spring Beauty Road, 543530 is the sales price, five bedrooms, two and a half baths, uh, this is a new home in Avondale. Remember that this is going to be home to be built. This is the Waverly model, which is expanded to offer five bedrooms. The kitchen is going to be uh, equipped with stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, and hardwood floors. Um, 3,959 total square feet. The lot size is 0.169. As always, guys, these lots are pretty small over there in Avondale. Um, but if you're looking for a new home, it could be an op a good option. I really like this community. Uh, close proximity to the shopping center there where the Harris Teeter is located. Um, so if you'd like to take a look at the different models that they offer and you really like to build brand new, um, this is definitely a subdivision to consider. However, the price point is going to be much higher than some of the existing home sales that we have out there currently. 9070 Sainsbury, sorry, Sainsbury Court, located in the Kingsbrook subdivision. It's a detached colonial, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's on almost a quarter acre of a lot. Standard sale at 455000 We've got 3,370 total square feet with 2,400 on the main two levels, two-car garage, uh, vinyl siding as you can see here from the outside, front, nice front porch area, nice Brazilian cherry hardwood when you come in um, throughout there and going up the stairs, which is a nice feature. And it actually looks like they switched up the wood to a different wood in here, which I'm not thrilled about. They could have ran that probably all the way through. Um, here's the kitchen. A little bit of a smaller kitchen. There's not that extension bump out there. Um, that some of these homes have. Pretty large deck. Here's the family room area. Price point is pretty much right where, you know, all the other homes with this type of square footage you're selling, right around that 450, um, 460 range. So it's been somewhat upgraded in certain capacities as far as the, the, the bathrooms, um, some of the flooring's been updated. All in all, it's a pretty, pretty solid home. Um, here's the backyard, which is nice and flat almost a quarter acre lot with fenced, fenced in yard as well. So that's definitely um, a premium for, for, you know, a couple that might have kids and or pets. So I definitely keep this one on the radar. That's all we got for today, guys. I hope um, if you have any questions, you'll reach out to us. If you, like I said, if you like that video, just shoot us a, a quick response to our email. Um, if you want to schedule any showings with our team, give us a call 703-596-0011. Have a great day and we'll be back at you tomorrow.